guys, it's Jenny with Jen Jen's Creations and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. I have been um, cleaning up my craft room a little bit and I've realized that I have too many dyes. So I don't know what I'm going to do about it, but I don't need this many dyes and especially if I'm taking the turn and going more into making junk journals or vintage stuff I don't think I need this many dyes so I don't know maybe you guys have ideas about what I should do with my dyes I don't want to just give them away because you guys know we spend money on this stuff so Anyway, if you have any ideas, leave them in the comments below. I would appreciate it. But I wanted to show you a couple of things I got at the uh, Goodwill or the thrift store that um, I thought were kind of neat. And the first one is I found this um, blouse. And I did not buy it to wear it. I bought it for all of the lace. It ha it's just all lace, so I, and the buttons are even nice, if you can see the buttons. So I'll be taking the buttons off, and then the neck has um, elastic, so I guess I'll just take my seam ripper and uh, start working on this. But it's a lovely uh, ecru colored lace top, and I was so happy to find it. I hope this was a good deal i mean i paid 3.99 for it but it's all lace and so i'm very very excited about this so that was my first find the other two things are books now this book i bought it because it has uh, quotes quips and jokes in it and i thought maybe some of the quotes, you know, um, might be something that I could put on cards or something. But anyway, um, you live only once, but if you work it right, once is enough. I solved the parking problem. I bought a parked car. <laughs> I hope on all, all of them aren't funny, but... Um, it looks like most of them might be funny. Two can live as cheaply as one if one of them doesn't eat. The best gift for a man who has everything is a burglar alarm. But anyway, let's see what this is. I hope it's not. A fanatic is a man who does what he thinks God would do only if let me start this over a fanatic is a man who does what he thinks god would do if only god knew all the facts in the case yeah i don't know you are only young once after that you have to come up with some other excuse for your actions so anyway, I thought it was a really cute book. It was 99 cents. And um, so anyway, I hope I'll get some good things out of this to use um, in projects. I thought it was really cute. Now this book, I bought it because those of you that do journaling, look. I don't know if you can see the edges of the book. Oh my gosh. This is, this is a book that was made with like the torn edges of the paper. It's a dream. These pages, oh my gosh, it's, it's magnificent. And you know, of course, I didn't buy it to read it. I bought it to use. But I'm just, I was just so happy. I sat there and looked at books for I don't know how long. I'm trying to do it different angles. There we go. And I uh, finally came across this one, and it is a, a hardback. I don't know if I would ever want to be one of those people, you know, that takes the book apart and then uses this as a cover 
for a journal of some kind, but might. I don't know. I'll have to get better. But anyway, I bought this because of the uh, torn edge paper that's used. I just absolutely love that. You don't see this very often, so I'm very happy about that. Okay, um, let me show you. Remember how I bought those placemats and I was going to do some uh, dyeing of paper? I did some coffee dyeing. So, um... It's very faint. I'm just going to lay it down and let you look at it. Um, I did this with the middle of the placemat, so it's very faint. There's this one. Again, there's, there is um, a pattern here, but it's very faint. And this one, nothing. Well, a little bit up here. So, you know, I don't know... I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. You can see it around the edges. This one, nothing. Now this one, look. This one I was happy with. I can see the pattern. And it's really cool. So maybe I need to spray more um, out of my spray bottle. But I really like that one. This one is pretty too. It's faint. But you can see everything. What is blocking? Oh, that's my water bottle. There, maybe that's. And then again, this one is really faint. But you, you do see some things. So, I mean, I don't know. Oh, and then also, y'all, um, I had some beet juice. And this is straight out of a bottle of pickled beets, guys. But I'm like, wonder what beet juice would do. Well beet juice I don't know you have to look at it close but if you look at this edge you can see some of the lace design again it's mainly around the edges so um, I don't know but there's some beet juice and then this was a piece of coffee dyed paper that I did with the first set and then it was just underneath this one that I sprayed with beet juice. And then this is what it turned out looking like. I mean, you know, it's got character. And I usually iron all of my papers after I dye them. So um, I'll be ironly, ironing these. But anyway, I'm going to try again. I'm going to try to do better with those placemats. I mean, I'm really happy with them. I'm glad I bought them. It, I think it was just me. I need to learn how to do it better. So, one more uh, craft thing that I would like to share with you. Um, again, I've been watching Corey, Corey Dahman's channel, Creating with Scraps. And um, I made one of these little paper clip things. And um, this is some seam binding. Do you guys remember when I bought that whole package of seam binding? This is just some of it. But um, I thought maybe these colors might work for vintage. Not the blue one, maybe, but, you know, that one, that one, that one. And I really like this one. I didn't get that much of it. This is all I got. But I really do like it. So that's what's on here. Right there. And then um, I watched how she curls her paper clips, and I think that is so pretty. So I curled um, my paper clip there. And I, you know, punched out a bunch of flowers because um, she cuts out some flowers and uses them sometimes. I don't know that I have the best ones, but. Um, Anyway, I used a combination, as you can tell. I used a combination of, you know, this flower punch and then um, these and layered them. And I, yeah, it turned out pretty good. But what I used in the middle of the flower was I bought these Nuvo drops and I believe I got, hmm, Tara, I hope I got them from you, but I'm, you know, I'm not sure. Somebody might have sent me an email 
about, you know, Tonic always sends me emails about um, groupings. I'm not using the right word, but anyway, um, certain days of the week they have groupings of things on sale. But I think I bought this from Tara. Anyway, metallic dirty bronze. So I bought that one. I was hoping that I could use it with vintage ephemera. And um, I don't know if you can see the center uh, of the flower. Am I still blurry? Does it focus? Anyway, there's the center of the flower using the uh, metallic dirty bronze so I really like the color and then I was going to show you another color that I got yeah I'm pretty sure I got these from Tara um, I haven't used this yet but it's a really pretty color called fairy wings let me do it real fast I did the um, dirty bronze on the goodwill tag so let me do this one And I think I got this one because of, um, do y'all watch Strawberry Cream? Oh gosh, is it 39? Her name's Jen. I think it's Strawberry Cream 39, guys. But anyway, um, she does crafts and she's on several design teams. But she bought this and it was just really lovely. So I don't know if you can tell, it really catches the light very very pretty so very happy with this I just haven't um, done anything you know this like shabby chic or anything yet but but I will and I I'm looking at it this is my first time to look at it in person and it's absolutely gorgeous Julie the creative chica hey Julie you're gonna have to tell me if you like these colors girl let me know if you like the fairy wings and um, can you see the dirty bronze? I don't you know, it would go good on your masculine journals. Anyway, Julie, let me know if you like those two colors. I know this is on your wish list. Nouveau drops. Okay guys, let me scoot this over to the side cause that is still drying and oh man, I just don't wanna hit it. Okay, I wanna end up the video with us thinking about people that need prayer. This is um, my prayer journal, and um, I write in it often. Um, it's, it's mainly for me to just jot down people that I'm praying for and what their needs are, but we need to remember Granny Martha Hamilton because she shared on the 20th that her only brother, who is younger than her, has lung cancer and it's terminal and his name is Woody. So I hope that we could pray for Martha, Woody, Woody's wife and the rest of the family. Another one is my niece, Caitlin has a brain tumor. It's not cancerous, but it is causing some issues and the doctor does not wanna do surgery right now unless it starts growing rapidly in size. So they will do MRIs yearly unless she develops some more symptoms. Caitlin is an RN and she was telling me that she has mixed feelings about this wait and see approach. And um, you know, a brain tumor is a brain tumor, guys. And she's young, she's early 30s. So if you guys don't mind praying for my niece, Caitlin. And then we still need to pray for Sheila, Country Girl First Crafts, and Julie, the Creative Chica. I just want to pray for those two women as well. And then I would ask that you pray for Michelle. Her YouTube channel is Crafty Ruse Michelle Summer. And she's having another foot surgery on August the 6th. So guys, those are, those are just some people that I'm asking you to pray for um, that I'm aware of. If any of you have prayer requests, write it down in the comments below. And boy howdy, I'm going to write them down in my prayer journal. I don't need to know them personally to pray for them. God knows who they are. So if 
you have anybody that you want us to pray for, share it, please. Okay, guys. Um, thank you so much for sticking to the end of this um, video. I want to send you crafty hugs from Texas. I love you guys. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.